Okay, so uh, in the previous video, I have guided you all how to add uh, AutoCAD as intermediary, and this is the last part of the uh, what you need to do in the, uh, my invoice portal, which is to register ERP. So, what is this registered ERP? This registered ERP basically means uh, it will generate a unique uh, ID. This ID actually represents you. And this ID you need to give, uh, sorry, you need to apply it in your software, which is, let's say, us, AutoCount, to let us recognize you are the correct person that we are uh, connecting to. Okay. So, uh, to do this, you need to go to your My Invoice portal again. Uh, switch the role to your company and on the top my invoice click report and again when you come into the uh, my invoice portal go to the small arrow on the top right and click view taxpayer profile all right then scroll to the most bottom at the representative table click on the erp section okay this erp section and click register erp so a dialog box will appear and you need to uh, give a name, for example, just an ERP name. This can be any name. Just type in maybe AutoCount 2.2 or maybe you put AC 2.2, any name will do. Okay, then uh, the next thing will be the client secret expiration, means this ID, how long can you use it? So the maximum, the longest period that the LHDM provide us to choose is three years. So uh, we will be choosing three years so that we don't have to do this uh, repeatedly annually. We can just do it uh, three years once. Lah. Okay, then click register. Okay, then it will prompt a dialog to show your client ID and client secret. So remember to copy all this down. Okay, copy all this down and copy it to somewhere, you save it in your PC and do not uh, share this to anyone that you do not trust, okay? Because by having this ID, I can say I represent you, your company. I can uh, make a fraud company to uh, use your this ID to send uh, e invoice, okay? Okay, so once you are ready, uh, copy down everything you click confirm i've copied and you just uh, click save and you will see the erp will be added over here so to show you in the actual portal so again this one comes into the my invoice portal go to the top right click view taxpayer profile okay scroll to the bottom at the erp section okay so uh I already registered before. Lah. Okay, so I just show you how to do it again. So click register ERP. So you can just put a name, for example, AC 2.2. Any name will do. Click uh, maybe three years. Then I click register. Okay, so this ID uh, secret will appear. So remember to copy. Okay, maybe you open up your notepad, paste this to your uh, notepad. Uh, so this one is, uh, sorry, uh, this one is uh, client ID. So the next one is client, client secret one. So you copy. And client secret two. You copy and you paste it over here so you can save this file and this will this id will be used later uh, in auto account accounting where you need to provide this id to connect to your uh, my invoice button okay so again do not share this id with anyone you do not trust okay uh, today because i'm using sandbox testing so this id i let you see also never mind but in your live one when you generate this, please do not share it out easily. Okay, so after that, you just click I confirm, I've copied and saved, done. Then you will see it will add the AC 2.2 over here. And you can see the expiration date. So after three years later, so imagine three years later, 
okay and suddenly you find out that uh, your auto account cannot submit e invoice on behalf of you so one of the reason over here is probably this is already expired so you have to come here and regenerate secret so you can set the current one to expire immediately and renew it and generate a new one okay so this will be your new client id and new client secret so again this one you need to copy uh, so imagine this one is your previous one uh, no 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 longer can be used uh. so you just override it okay id i guess will be the same the secret will be different okay and copy and remember to save this so again i've copied done and this is the regenerated one all right so that's all for the uh, how can you register your erp in my invoice portal and after that uh when we go into the uh, actual auto count software we will guide you how to set up to connect with all this information thank you